Welcome to the Globe Tracker Habitat Build Tutorial and Guide video series. As with all of our products, they are specifically engineered for the do-it-yourselfer, for the ease of assembly and quick start-to-finish completion of your project. We welcome you into the wonderful possibilities that an Overland Expedition vehicle offers. After a solid dry fit is confirmed, it's time to start gluing the extrusions. These glue channels are kind of exactly like a quarter inch diameter bead. So put a little bit more than a quarter inch of diameter and you'll ensure that you fill these voids. Second thing, you wanna make sure you have clean surfaces. Get lint-free alcohol wipes. So when you wipe the parts down, you don't get any lint or any kind of residue. Give it time to dry before you stick it on. One other thing, I invested in a DeWalt gun. I recommend it. Based upon the temperature you're working in, your glue is going to have a tack time, which is your working time, and you have to be careful, look at the manufacturing recommendations, and don't do too much that you can't work within that window. So in our temperature range we're working in, we have about 45 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and do one piece, get it in place, and then do two pieces. Therefore, we can get all three of them done in two different increments in about an hour and a half to two hours in total. Disassemble the side rail you're going to start with. Ensure the panel and the extrusion has been wiped down with alcohol wipes and is clean and dry before applying the glue to the inside of the extrusion rail. Glue only the extrusion slot that will attach to the floor panel. Fill all four glue channels with beads of Sikaflex 552 that are slightly larger than one quarter inch in diameter. More glue is better than less. Attach the extrusion to the floor panel using the masking tape as a guide for placement. It is helpful to start at one corner while attaching the extrusion to the floor panel. Ensure the front corner extrusion miter is aligned and the rear corner panel is fully seated within the extrusion. For best results, allow this first perfectly placed extrusion to dry in place and act as a guide for the other two extrusions. Remove the remaining corner cap and the opposite side and front extrusions. Thoroughly wipe the panel edges and the extrusion with lint-free alcohol wipes to ensure the best adhesion. Then apply the glue to the front and remaining side extrusions. Laying down four beads of Sikaflex per extrusion, one bead for each of the glue channels, just like before. Carefully glue the seams where the side and front walls will meet between the 45 degree mitered extrusions. Attach the front extrusion first, followed by the remaining side extrusion. If you need to tap the extrusion into place, do so with a non-marring dead blow hammer. Measure the fitness of the extrusions on the floor panel for square by measuring diagonally corner to corner. Adjust as necessary. When the extrusions are square with the floor panel, reinstall the corner brackets to hold everything in place. Wipe any excess glue from the extrusion ends and the front corner miter joints. Take a two to five hour break to allow the extrusions to set into place. Next, identify the front vertical extrusions and the front habitat panel. Peel the protective film from the edges of the panel, just enough to expose the gluing area. Dry fit the panel and the extrusions for proper fit. Disassemble the front wall, then wipe down the panel bottom edge and front floor extrusion with lint-free wipes. Add four beads of glue in the bottom channel, then set the front wall into place, ensuring it is centered. Wipe the vertical extrusions and vertical panel edges of the front panel to prepare them for glue. Glue the left and right vertical extensions with four beads of glue, each in their glue pockets. Attach each vertical extrusion ensuring they are fully seated both top and bottom and aligned with the floor extrusion. Use the plywood corner bracing and several quick grip clamps to ensure the front wall is plumb with the floor. Measure between the two vertical extrusions for proper fit and adjust as necessary. Use the alcohol wipes to clean up any wayward glue. Build day one is now complete. Allow the front wall to set up in place overnight. 